Well, I was in school, um, John, when it happened. I don't know where you were probably in school, I'd assume. Yeah, I found out after school, actually. After school. They didn't tell us in school. They didn't really tell us in school, but mm -hmm. on the, the, when I got on the school bus to go home, the bus driver was crying. Really? And, and that's, yeah, how we found out. But it was very subdued in school. The teachers were very, very upset. And it, we really didn't understand it until I didn't. It didn't hit me until I saw my school bus driver crying. Yeah, I had no clue that anything had happened until I got home from school. I actually went home with a friend. We got off the bus, went into his house, and his mother was watching TV. And that's when I found out. Mm -hmm. So it was a matter of several hours. Uh, after it happened before I actually found out and they did a very good job. I never saw any hint of anything at school. Of course, I may just have been clueless at that point. We often yeah, are at that age. Yeah, but yeah. I don't remember anything until after school, but I intensely remember the whole weekend following it. Oh, it was my, my parents were upset, crying, a lot yeah. of people were crying. It was, a, it was an incredibly traumatic period. It was, I, it, and the same thing happened to me. I walked in and mom was glued to the television set. Dad wasn't home from work yet and she was crying her eyes out. She was not um, a fan of the Kennedys mm -hmm. uh, politically, but was terribly upset, said this is not the way th these things should happen. This is a terrible disaster for the country. And I, I felt the fear yeah. of what was going to happen next. I mean, the president had been assassinated. That's what I felt, too, was people were scared because it was such a shock. Nobody knew what was going to happen next. And, of course, we found out a lot more since. But the fear is what I remember. And the reaction, particularly when Oswald was shot oh. over the weekend, then people really went off the edge. Of, what is going on here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, a guy walks into a police station and shoots the lead suspect. Yeah. Then you know, it reminds me a little bit, and uh, on a different scale, of course, but of 9-11. You know, the first plane yeah. hits, and then the second plane hits, and that was right. the Oswald thing. And you're like, whoa, we really yeah. are now under attack. Know, now we know we're under attack. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's what, that's that. It was a similar thing feeling of fear. Mm -hmm. And my mother used to tell me that it was different, the difference between the Kennedy assassination and Pearl Harbor, which she lived through. Mm -hmm. Of course, you and I didn't. Mm -hmm. But she said that Pearl Harbor, everybody knew immediately what had happened. They knew where it had come from, that they were afraid, but they knew what had happened. Mm -hmm. And we really didn't for a long time. 